We will be learning quite a lot today. Let's start with placing objects. Double click on the object or click Ctrl T on your keyboard. You will see different sections under the library um, folder. You see appliances where you can put blender, cooktop and the rest. Today we will try putting the bed. Select a single bed and place it. Click OK and place it. If you go to your 3D, allow it to load. You can hit this fit in window to see where it is showing. As you can see, it's just showing a single color. We can select our arrow, select it, and go to the settings. The reason why it's showing this color is because under the model, the surface is being selected as a general surface. You can untick it and click OK and it's going to show you two different textures. We can go back to our, our object settings and we can see variety. First, untick this override to avoid uh, the it overriding any surface. You can go to our couch or chairs and you see different varieties of chairs, different categories. Depending on where you want to use it, you can select any one and place it. And that's how to place objects. The same thing, you can place light. You can select the light, go to the settings, and you can see interior lamps, which you have different categories, and then the street lamps, which you can use as a garden lamp or street light, depending on how you want to make use of it. When we go into red ring, we will show you how you illuminate this light. Next, we're going to show you the, the stair tool when you're using the stair tool you will need a defined space where you can place it but for now we're going to do it out of the box select the stair tool and start placing to show you the first method here you can place it based on the distance you want give it a direction it can be diagonal it can be any direction then you place it. As you're placing it, it is counting the number of stairs required. And as we all know, the stair tool, it requires a 150 riser and then 300 landing. It is already calculated by Archicad. But if you want nothing less than, you want less than 20 stairs, you can click 15 and it will calculate it for you automatically. You can also increase the, the size of the stair, stair tool, which let's make it one eight. That is the width of the stairs. Click and you can place it. As you can see, the stairs is already wide and is on 150. Now we have complex methods, which we'll go later into it. But for now, I would like to show you how to place other systems of uh, stairs. So take it back to one uh, meter and place it back to 20 stairs. What you do is, um, we want to show you how to place a straight flight with a landing in the middle. Click to start placing it. Get to the number eight. Click, then you will need to select this landing and define how long the landing you want it to be. Click it, then click flight again and place your remaining flight. That is how to place a straight one. If you want it in an L shape, you can you can select it, give it a distance, then bend it to the L shape you want and give it another distance. If you want the edge to have to have uh, equal tones, what you do is click get to the turn you want and um, you can use this to create that turn sorry the system is slowing down a little bit well that's how to make use of it you can right click and click ok another thing is in case your building shape is not conforming to the 
steer to you can hold shift and select it and give it a repositioning you can reposition it or you can use this to add a new node which will bend it to a certain shape as you're bending it is calculating the direction for which to place it you can also click the edge and use this to curve it You can curve it to the way you like. 